Hey what's up everybody, Mike back with another video. So today I've got an alternative to the GP100 for you. So we all know and love this, so say hello to the VS627, a native HD projector. The Xiaomi Mi is an ultra full HD short throw projector that is simply stunning. From its exterior design to the ALPD 3.0 laser light source, providing over 5000 lumens, learn more at the link in the video description. So, let's get straight to it. So the package that it comes in, it's actually quite big. I didn't actually realize why it's so big. It's it's the box itself is bigger than the GP100 that came in. But let's let's do the uh, super speed unboxing. We're not going to waste any time. Here's the contents of the box. So you get your typical power adapter. Again, varies from country to country. We get our uh, goodie bag. And we also get enclosed, if you're using it in an office environment, a VGA cable, two meters, I guess. I guess it's useful. We get one typical instruction manual that you're used to, uh, English and Chinese, and it's got the model number. That's what I was actually looking for because it's hard to find that information sometimes. We also get a bundle of RCA cables. Again, very typical. Now, one thing I really did like was the remote control that we came across. Now, it's got all the functions that you're going to need. You can zoom in and out. You can also uh, adjust your aspect ratio. All of that good stuff that you usually have to go into the menus. So the GP100 remote sucked. This is much better. So, super quick Superman unboxing. So let me just rip this out. It came with a lot of packaging, but... Oh, okay. Lens cap. Let's take a look. I must admit, I actually prefer the look of this projector than the GP100. I'm not going to say it's got a smaller footprint than the GP100, but it is definitely less thick. Let's do this bit nice and slowly. Here we go. Uh... Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so taking a look at the projector from the front, you can see it's quite a clean, nice-looking projector. And one thing I do like about it is the fact it's got a lot of venting. Now, unlike the GP90 and the GP100, this thing doesn't have a removable filter, which I didn't like. It's got some spongy stuff behind that grill. Now, as far as the projector's uh, focus, it has got a manual focus on this, and it is quite... Let me show you guys. It's... It's not terrible, but no means is this thing smooth, so it does feel a little bit cumbersome. So you're going into the £150 plus, I would have thought it'd be a little bit better. The lens cap on this thing as well, which was a little bit frustrating, instead of screwing on in some kind of shape, way or form, it just kind of sits there, not very sturdy. I do like the curvature design of this projector. On the left side, there's... All there is is a single speaker. On the right side, you'll find the heatsink and you'll find a second speaker. So, twin speakers, I guess that's something. I do like the chunky rubber feet that it has got. Now, as far as the top of the projector, this is really annoying. Fingerprints really get on my nerves. I know, I know, it's not going to be moved, but it still annoys me. As far as the top of the projector, the buttons do feel much better than the GP90 and that of the GP100. That little circle you can see under the power button, that is an infrared actual... Uh, input if you will or signal source uh, going round to the rear of the projector you'll see all of your rca inputs now they've uh, blocked off the digital tv or whatever the bottom one is and it looks like there is a micro sd card now i didn't actually notice that i didn't say in the instruction manual and it's no no it's not so, sillyly they've got a thin bit of plastic blocking up that slot now there is a different version of this projector if i'm uh, i will actually try and find it and link it in the video description but it's got two hdmis and two usb and then it's got a little fan on the back you've also got the uh, ethernet lan port blocked off as well on this particular model but i'm sure there's an android version of this and then you've got your standard power lead on the end so guys as you can see i've got the projector screen set up same screen i'm not shining it on a white wall keeps it everything fair compared to the gp100 happy halloween by the way if i don't say it again um the projectors are on a tripod today as i can actually find the extension pieces for the ceiling mount so here's a uh, noise test for that fan so what i'm done is i've actually got i'm pressing pause and play on the tv so you get an ambient noise level of the fan and what it sounds like with audio So it's about 30 to 35 when there's no talking and when you have the volume on it goes up to about 48 to 50. So as always we'll start off with the actual colour and the black test and as you can see if I uh, zoom in and out of this image you can see that there is very little blurring or distorting in the corner which is great and if you look at the uh, solid block of black in the corner that looks really good. Now and this is the uh, menu screen if you're playing off a of flash drive. Now as far as menu options there's not much on it there's no 
sub menus or any kind of specific menu where you can actually increase the brightness and all of that this is all limited to the remote control but i do like this uh, little heads up display that you get preview window so if you look at this actual image you can see the level of detail if i just focus the camera in nope this thing bloody slides in again so what you can do you can actually select multiple clips playing off a flash drive so if you're playing at a family event or something like that you can have a bunch of pictures lined up ready to go on a constant loop which is quite a good feature to have especially at this price point point. and one thing it does remind me the menu set up when you're actually using the uh, flash drive or any kind of a uh, plug-in device portable hard drive or anything like that it does actually remind me of the Cronova XP 460 here's a uh, video test playing off a USB flash drive to give you an idea of the quality I'll shut up now One really cool thing, I'm oh, sorry, I have to actually say, is the actual darks on this projector looks really good, just like the GP100, but it's it's really annoying because almost looks a little bit clearer than the GP100, and that's saying quite a lot because I absolutely love the GP100, but judge for yourself. So one of the uh, most common questions that you guys constantly ask me is would you ever please just plug it in, plug the projector in into my subscription service set top box. So for me, at least in the UK, which is Virgin Media as you can see, or it might be Sky or BT or, you know, it could even be Now TV or Amazon Fire, but it's not quite the same. So this is the Virgin Media, this is their, um, you know, most up-to-date actual TV service box and it's just amazing. Look at that absolutely amazing so i am actually watching this in hd and i am actually standing pretty damn close with a 50 millimeter uh, no 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 i'm lying i'm standing with a 35 millimeter lens and you know what you can see me and you can actually get, this should give you a gauge of the scale if i just hold the remote up and then you can see that the picture is absolutely spot on even to the corners if you look at the uh, corners in the black it looks really good the darks are pretty damn good. So this isn't exactly as bright as the previous clip we just watched. And this should give you an idea of uh, colour saturation and things like that. But if we skip through the channels, you'll get a good idea. For those of you that are into sports, there you go. Live Premier League football. I don't know if I'm going to get... Mm, no, it should be okay. I won't play it on for very long. But you can actually see uh, the blurs is the camera trying to focus. I'm on auto focus because I'm constantly moving back and forth to show you guys exactly what I can see. The clarity looks really good. Yes, I constantly have to focus in, but this is really impressive. If you're planning on actually plugging this into your main entertainment uh, TV box, this is really good. I'm re genuinely impressed by the colours. Yeah. So, yeah, I hope you guys found this bit useful. I'll just uh, carry on playing a couple of little clips so you guys can actually gauge it a little bit better. But even when you're reading the text through the menu, now I'm not saying that the screen I've set up is, it's not the full width of the screen as you can see. I'm about, I don't know, 20 inches short of what I tested the GP100 with because I just can't get further back. But if I walk around the screen, you can actually see the, this thing is just ridiculous. It's really good. You'd almost mistaken this for like a 720p DLP chip inside this thing. Gives you a bit more clarity, I guess. But here's a very dark scene. Now I should say that the actual uh, test here, it is quite red, so it's not the projector. But it, it looks really good. So guys, I hope that is enough. Now one thing I am actually disappointed by is the, uh, the menu layout on the projector. A lot of it has to be controlled by the remote control. And I've been, absolute, I've been trying to actually uh, try and get the uh, volume on the actual uh, projector to actually work with the set-top box and all of this. But there's no listed codes or anything like that, so I can't actually control the uh, volume on the TV box through the actual projector remote control, which is a little bit annoying. Static images, when you look like this, they look really good. So, yeah, enough of that. Let me give you my final thoughts. So, what did I make of the VS627 compared to the GP90 or the 100? Well, it's got some problems. The build quality is nowhere near that of the GP100. Now, I will say that the uh, actual focus lens was a bit cumbersome. But you know what? In detail, where it actually counts. Now, if image quality and clarity is the most important thing and to get the best bang for buck for you know, $150 if you will, then this thing is good. Now, I really did like the remote control, but I didn't like the lack of features within the menu. 
but this is genuinely a serious alternative to the GP100 and if you're considering buying one maybe consider this one. As always check the links in the video description I'll hit you up with an offer code for this projector. Now a couple of you mentioned that you were having problems using the code for the GP100 because um, a lot of you wanted the Android version and the code wasn't apparently working but if you want to try it again it's all back up and good so thank you Gearbest. Um, as always um, if you've got any questions ask me. Mm, I'm just going to stop saying uh I don't know why I'm freeballing this but my name is Mike and this is Tech404. I'll catch you next time. Thank you for watching.